If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the basic and advanced maths concepts. Hello everyone. In our previous lecture, we have seen that uh, that what is uh, mod that is uh, one of the measure of central ten tendency and uh, how you can find the mod of uh, grouped and ungrouped data. Today we are going to learn another measure of central tendency that is the median. Now we to in in our today's lecture we will cover what is median what is its mathematical representation what is its formula for odd number of observation as well as for even number of observation with the help of examples so we'll start with the with the definition of the median that median is basically the middle of arranged set of data so two things that you have to notice here one is the word middle and the other is the arranged it means for finding the median your data should be arranged in the uh, arranged in, a, in the ascending order and you have to find the middle of that data in order to get the median it is also defined as the middle of sorted list of numbers so sorted list is also referred to as the arranged data or a data in the form of ascending order so this is the definition of the median median basically helps to divide the set of data into two equal parts so its representation is how you can um, represent or its symbol is is let's see what is its symbol so it is represented by x tilde x tilde it it means you have to put a tilde sign on the x in order to uh, in order to um, represent the median of a set of data so this is um, uh, this is the definition and the representation now we move towards the formula so we we will have two types of uh, formulas here one for the odd number of observation and the other for the uh, for the uh, even number of observation so you have to find the median of two kind of observation one is for odd number of observations so the method will be different for finding the median of odd number of observations that means that the observation given is a, is of odd number that is 1 3 5 or 7 that is the number of observations are in odd number and for even number of observations keep this in mind we have two types of data one is the grouped and the other is the ungrouped but today we are just going to learn that how you can find the median of the ungrouped data that ungrouped data is further divided into two parts depending on the number of observations if you came across the odd number of observation the formula will be different and if you came across the even number of observation it will be different so let's start with the uh, uh, odd number of observation that how you can find the median of or number of, of observations first of all we will write the formula for finding the median of odd number of observations what is the formula let's write it down then we will use the example to find the median of odd number of observation so the formula is x tilde is equals to n plus 1 divided by 2 tooth term what does it mean it means the central term of the given data so you have to find the central term and that term will be the median of the given set of observations so where here there uh, we have a variable n where n is the number of observations observations so let's have an example to find the uh, median of the um, uh, or, uh, or number of observation as the example is we will take the daily life example so that it will be helpful for you so this is an example of uh, um, a daily life example where uh, we have a James family having seven children and the ages of the seven children are four years, seven years, twelve, five, three, one and nine years. So these are the ages and you will be asked to find the age of the middle child. So in order to find that you have to follow few steps. So the steps is, so I'll write the solution here. So the step number one is arrange the data. How? From smallest to largest as we have 4 7 12 5 3 1 9 we have to write the smallest first so 1 is the smallest then we have 3 then we have 4 then 5 then 7 and 9 and 12 so we have arranged the data from smallest to largest now what is the step number 2 step number 2 is apply the formula that we have written above apply the formula so let's apply the formula of finding the median as x tilde is equals to n plus 1 divided by 2 term. So what is n here? 
Here n is the number of observations. So we have the total how many number of observation? As there are total seven children, so we have seven number of observations. So we have to take n is equals to seven. So putting n is equals to seven as seven plus one divided by two, tooth term is equals to eight divided by two, and it means we have fourth term that will represent the age of the middle child so what is the fourth term here the fourth term in the arranged set of data is 5 so the age of the middle child is 5 years that is basically the median of the given set of data so fourth term is equals to 5 years and uh, this is the median of the uh, given set of data that was given uh, of the uh, median of the given set of data so let's find the median of the even number of observation that how you can find that so for finding the median of the even number of observation you have to follow a different method or a, or you can say a different formula so uh, in uh, in uh, it can it can be defined as it will be the arithmetic mean of two middle observations it means you can when you came across the even number of observation then it becomes difficult to find the central observation so for that purpose you have to take the arithmetic mean of the two middle observations but how let's write its formula first its formula is x tilde is equals to 1 by 2 into size of n by tooth n plus 2 divided by tooth observation so no need to get uh, uh, confused or get uh, upset ab about this formula as it's a very lengthy formula no it's not like that let's have an example you will understand that it's also much easier to find the median of the even number of observations by using this formula so we have an example that is salaries of six employees who work for a company are listed below what is the median salary so what are, what are the salaries salaries are uh, are these are the salaries of the employees working at a company so we have to find the median salary here so the step number 1 here is you have to arrange from smallest to largest so let's arrange it as dollar 1000 then we have 1500 then we have 2000 then 3000 then we have 4000 and then we have 6000 So this is the arranged data. Now th this was the step number one. Now what is the step number two? Is it's the, the step number two is to just apply the formula, where n is equals to n is the number of observation here. N is equals to what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six number of observation. That is even number of observation. So the formula uh, we have to apply the formula x till the is equals to one by two to size of n by tooth it means you have to divide the n by 2 it will become 3 n plus 2 divided by 2 6 plus 2 8 8 divided by 2 is 4 so 3 plus 4 observation then we have to write as 1 by 2 into size of so one size of third observation plus size of fourth observation so it will become 1 by 2 what is the size of the third observation in the sorted list the third observation is this 2000 if i say in the sorted list it's this 2000 so 2000 plus the size of the fourth observation that is 3000 so 2000 plus 3000 is equals to 5000 divided by 2 that is 2500 so 2500 is the median salary of the given set of data that we have found by using the formula of median for even number of observations so this is how you can find the median of the even number of observation by using a formula there is nothing difficult in it you just need to find the arithmetic mean of the two central terms and then and that is the median of the given number of observation in the next lecture we will see how you can find the median of group data thank you Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.